Hey everybody, we're back once again for another episode of the Tom Proctor Show. We took a little bit of time off for that wonderful thing that we call COVID. Yeah, I got it, got it kind of bad. Whoo, you know, it's uh, one of the things that's plagued our country and everything like that. But it's also one of the things that's given actors coming up a new opportunity. Uh, you know, again, like I've said in earlier episodes, when I was coming up, if you wanted to do an audition, you had to be here. You had to be there. And uh, especially Hollywood. It was kind of funny. I used to think Hollywood was snobs because if I was living in Louisiana, Hollywood would not take an audition from me unless I came in in person. Yet Louisiana would take a taped audition from me living in Los Angeles. Now everybody will take a taped audition. So that's a good news for you. I'll try to make it in that part of the entertainment industry. And as you can see, this show is about acting industry, the music industry, which I have no clue about. But I'm discovering it, and I'm going to help you. As I make discoveries this works, I'm going to just show, tell them on the show, hey, this worked. You know, running around, Walmart parking lot, naked and on fire, playing your number one hit song <clears throat> does not work. I can tell you that right up front. Okay, so today I want to focus on a little bit. We talked about the film industry and, and you know, how we, we can do it from anywhere and everything like this. Well, now I'm going to tell you a major, major, major mistake that actors are making left and right. They get an audition where they get it through a self-tape, they get it through their agent or whatever. And the audition, they got it on Monday, but it's not due till Friday. And they rehearse their part over and over. They rehearse it, they get their lines down, they make it their own, and they think, ah, I can do it better, I can do it better. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna do the best one. I'm gonna do the best one, I'm gonna do the best one. I'm gonna do the best one, I'm gonna do the best one. I'm gonna do the best one. And they do it all those different ways. I'm going to do the best one, even if that's their line. They don't send the auditions in quickly. You have to understand the audition process. You have to understand how the audition process works. The minute that audition hits the breakdown, it's released to casting. Casting releases it immediately. And the second it hits the breakdowns, Here's the agents, 5,000 in Los Angeles alone. The, the audition call comes up. Male, good looking, 24 years old, leading man, very sexy. They all go, that's Tom Proctor, boom. They send them my stuff, everything like that. Casting gets blasted right off the bat with hundreds of auditions that they then have to go through uh, no, this Tom Proctor character is not 24 years old and sexy. Some that that's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. I can do just 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 so I get my point across. Add in on your own. Just just loop this little section where I go. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Just loop that on your own because we don't have time to do it here. Um, so, and what happens there is. All these actors, some that may or may have done a better job of acting, all that stuff, all of them got that auditions uh, passed on. And they go, hey, this guy looks like he's right. Call, send him an audition. Oh, this guy looks like he's right. Send him an audition. Oh, this guy looks like he's right. Send him an audition. And they send you an audition. Congratulations. That audition is the very same thing as buying a lotto ticket. Now all you gotta do is figure out the winning numbers. I'm gonna give you the number one for me, and it's proven again today, because <laughs> uh, the winning number for the audition taping. The winning number is number one be the first person that gets that audition back. Winning word, quick. Get it back quickly. 
Do it today. Do it now. Do it within the next hour. Get it done. Get it back quickly. And we all do this. Every one of us do this. We send in these auditions. We maybe don't get the role. We go, what did I do wrong on that audition? What did I do wrong on that audition? I'm going to tell you the answer. Not a damn thing. When that part comes across, it was either yours and you match the vision of the people in charge or you don't. But here's why I say quick, turn around quickly doing it is the key. Hey, wait, what am I doing? I'm, that's stupid, right? I mean, I'm telling the other actors how to beat me out of my work. No, 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 no I, I, I'm sorry. Um, take your time. Make sure you got that audition right. You know, really work it over. I mean, overwork it, overthink it. Do all those things before you send in, especially if you're my type and we might possibly be auditioning for the same role. Uh, no, seriously, uh, I have had many of the shows that I've been cast in uh, the ones that come to mind right off the bat are Battle of Buster Scruggs, Queen of the South, and even, um, what was that other one? I had it a minute ago. Um, Nashville, Nashville, sorry. I, like I said, I'm just getting over COVID, a little bit of brain fog. Um, so, in those cases, I send in an audition for a role, and, but I did it quickly, did the audition, turned around, you know, make it your own, take your time, get off book, that don't take much time, make it your own, and then send it, send the damned audition. Many times I've had, and in the last little while, on the audition, we've had, there's been what, like four of them that we've done this week? It's okay for you to answer since you're my reader. Yeah. About four? That they, they'll come in and say, ah, oh, you know what? We don't really like him for this role, but would you, would you read for this role? And one, they did that three different times before finally, oh, okay, yeah, that's the role we want you for. And uh, the other day, I, I was doing things. I'm run, jamming back and forth to LA to do work and back and forth from here. We're trying to do music videos to get our music out there. We'll go over that in the music department because that helps your music career. And just as I'm getting ready to load up and head back, and I'm just tired, I get this one-line audition. And I go, seriously? I've been in over 100 movies, and they, they can't just look at my reel. They can't just look at my resume. And I, I tend to get a little insulted sometimes because, let's face it, if we're not a little bit of narcissists or we don't have an ego, then guess what? We're probably not actors. That's, that's probably not happening either. And so I thought, I, I'm not going to do this. They have this one line. It's a panicked one line. Won't disclose what it was where the guy's just panicked about what's happening and says literally one line. And they want it done two takes. So I give them two extreme, one screaming over the top panic, one scared pee in his pants panicked. And... Bang, call back for a supporting lead. But if I had waited till this next Friday when that audition is due, I would have only sent in that audition and by that time, the casting directors and everybody else have received all the auditions that they picked out from the 500, 5,000 agents and everything that they narrowed down to probably 100, 150 and then narrowed down to this many that they want to call to see if they're avails and everything like this. But I, I wouldn't have got it. They would have just said, no, he's not right for that part because they're out of time. That is crucial. Respond back quickly. And I know the auditions, oh my God, they always come when you've got a concert this week, you got this going this week, you're read, nobody to read with, you're on the road, you're doing things, your family wants. Best way to get an audition is have a family reunion and promise them that you will be there that day at a certain time. Sure enough, an audition will pop up and mess up your plans. But I'm telling you right now, it's important to get those things up. Oh. 
All Tom Proctor concerts will in some way be a benefit for suicide prevention for our veterans and first responders through Life's Worth Living Foundation. You guys can help with that just by texting VET, dial 435-294-3317, then just text VET. God bless you all. You have a good night, and we'll see you here next week.